What's up, everybody? Good to see you again. Carolina Keith here. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about custom indicators and how we, in how we install them and upload them onto our trading view. Perhaps you joined our Discord and you saw, hey, man, these guys have custom indicators and screeners and coin watchers and everything else. That's awesome. Uh, by the way, congratulations for joining. So anyway, let's go through step by step how we do this, how we upload a custom indicator, where they're located at in our Discord. And you can be using our custom indicators, which is part of the $16 a month simple subscription. Let's get to it. By the way, if you guys need help with this stuff, can't find the website, can't find the Discord, whatever, right here, 786unlimited.com. Got everything you need right there in one spot. Our launch pass link, our Discord, our YouTube, all easily right there on the home page. You can click over there and find out about who we are as well on the about page. Jump over there if you need to. All right, so I've got our Discord pulled up here. Whenever you come into our Discord, you verify. Uh, there's a little verify link. You click the verify link, you can join. Once you join and you subscribe, all of the channels over here on the left fully open up. There's tons of them. Um, we've got different channels for different things. We've got video setups. We've got, you know, custom bots that you can run. Uh, we just had a subscriber call. We do that every Monday morning at 830, only for subscribers. However, here's our custom indicator script section. We have two different ones. We have one for PineScript and Python, where those guys who are really, really good at coding, uh, who like to do that kind of stuff can set their stuff up, which is here. Uh, next is our custom indicator section. Real quick, let me get a shout out to Pally, uh, Ever Forward, China Matt. Um, who else needs to get a shout out here? Um, I think that's it for the time being. Um, Air 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 360, thank you. Uh, all these guys have been over here pretty hard at it doing this stuff. They've combined indicators, created indicators, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Not the point. Let's get into the real meat of what we're looking for. All right. So here I've got the Bitcoin daily chart pulled up. As you can see, there's no indicators on the screen at all. So we go to our Discord and find one of the custom indicators that we want. And if you wonder where they're at, go into the custom indicator script section right here at the top of the screen. You see the pin messages. Click on the pin messages. That's where this video, <coughs> excuse me, that's where this video and all the other indicators are pinned in so you can find them. So we've got many, many different ones. Um, recently, a couple guys have developed one that kind of screens coins for you. It tells you whether you have a good cloud, a good Ichimoku cloud, whether you have a good MACD, a good RSI, a good 821 EMA, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of gives you a count. We also have other ones that combine multiple indicators into one indicator slot. So for you guys that don't want to pay for TradingView or don't want to buy the upper account, you only get three spots for indicators. So what we've done is we've created indicators that have multiple indicators built into one slot so that you don't use all your indicator selections up with simple, easy indicators. Instead, you've got many, many, many indicators built into one. Uh, which is really helpful, really convenient. So let's go pull up some of those now. Um, I'm going to ride through here until I find one I want. Here's Dual Pivots by Pally. Uh, here's China Matt. China Matt, thank you. He's one of the smartest guys I know. And there's many, many in here. So this is one of the Assassin Score oscillators. And I'll show you what I mean by this. So he kind of talks about it here and gives you a little heads up on what's going on. Um, there's multiple time frame score charts, blah, blah, blah. Very neat. So what I'm going to do is I want to put this one in. Let's say I've decided I like this one and I want to do it. Um, or no, I, let's, let's do a, let's do a better one. I want to, I want to go down here to a different one. Uh, here's 821 alert scripts. Uh, this one gives you an alert and tells you, which is really neat. RSI and MACD with a panel with readout. Very neat. Um, uh, not around Watson estimator. Um, assassin count screener. This one's really neat. Ratings, ratings table for 40 preset coins and seven conditions in the assassins panel. Very neat. So let's download this. There we go. It downloaded. 
So now here's the very important steps that I want you to follow one by one through this. All right. This is going to get a little tricky, but it's not that bad. All right. So I've got this download down here. All right. So I'm going to double click on it. Give it a moment. And that's what we get. We get this notepad pop up. So here's the important steps that you don't need to screw up. Maximize the screen. If you don't maximize this screen, you take a chance on this code compressing. And when the codes compress, they won't go in the screener correctly. All right. Or the, or the editor correctly. And I'll show you what I mean. So now I'm going to highlight all this. And you can critique my highlighting all you want. I don't care. <laughs> this is not the easiest way to do it, right? One of the easiest ways to do it. You just hold and drag, right? No big deal. Yes, you can click select all up top. That's going to work as well. This way, I'm sure I get it all. So, And there we go. I'm going to right click, copy. Now we're going to go to our trading view. And at the bottom here, you see Pine Editor. Click on Pine Editor. This is what we get. We get an unused, unbuilt template. Now, first things first, erase all this. Every bit of it erased. All we have is a blinking cursor. Perfect. If you get to a situation where there's something on here and you can't erase it, just go to Open, Indicator, and build a new one. Okay? It's not that complicated. You can do that as well. So, we have a blank template here. We have a blinking cursor. Now we're going to right click and paste. Bam. Our code is inputted now. Very well. Awesome. So a couple things here. Number one, you can upload it just like this. And all of your coins that are in this screen are pre-made will pop up on the screener for you. Or you can change them. And I'll show you that in a moment. But first, let's get this loaded on here. Take my camera off. So now that we've got it on there. We want to save it and name it. So first thing we're going to do is click save. We're going to name it. So we'll name this Assassin Count Screener video because I'm making a video about it right now. We'll click save. Now we want to add it to our chart because we've done the code, but does it actually work? So let's click add to chart. You give it a moment. It'll dance around for a second and bam, you see it pop up right there on the top. Now, as I said, these are the preloaded tokens on there. You know, perhaps you don't want to watch these particular tokens. Maybe you want to watch something else. Maybe you want to change those to a certain type of DeFi coin or whatever that's on TradingView. And you want to look at only those because that's what you want to see. Well, we can fix that too. All right. So if you're looking at your code here, I'll take the camera off and you want to change it to Sorry, you want to change it to your custom coins that you want to see. So it's very easy to do here. If you look to the right right here, you'll see that there's some green blurbs and stuff. Click on this one. These are the actual coins in the list. Now you see I've already added AVAX to mine. And if you look up here, and drag this down here where you can see. There we go. Right there, it says AVAX instead of Bitcoin. If you remember earlier, it was Bitcoin was at the top of the list. How did I do that? It's very simple. Uh, here you see Ethereum. I'll change Ethereum right here. I don't want Ethereum. Uh, let's say we want to change this one to XRP. So we type in, oh, all caps, all caps, all right? XRP, USDT, and hit enter. Oh, no, don't hit enter. Back up. <laughs> That's good enough right there. Now, we're going to save this, and we're not just going to save this as Assassin's Count Screener anymore. We're going to save it as custom. Why? Because there may be an idea that you've got where you want two of these. You want one with the normal coins and one with your custom coins. And this would give you 80 potential charts, 80 potential coins that you could look at at any given time, right? Very cool. One for the normal ones that are preloaded. And one for the ones that you want. So you've saved it. Now we got to add it to the chart again. Now, as you'll notice here, it still says Ethereum. Didn't quite work, did it? Didn't. Nope. So let's save it. 
and then add it to the chart. Now you're going to get a whole different ball game. You see it changed. So when you change it like this, you've got to add it back again. You've got to add another one to the chart and just erase the other one. Now, like I said, once you've done this, you're good to go. This once uploaded and saved will then save into your indicators section. Click on indicators here. My scripts. And here you go. Assassin's Count Screener Video Custom. I've got several in here. You see this. These are all some of the ones that are in our custom screener section there. Our custom indicator section, right? I've downloaded them here and I've experimented with different ways and different ways I want to be able to use them. Knock yourself out. Uh, this is the one I literally just made. You'll have far less than this, especially if you've never actually uploaded any of these, but that's where they'll be once you upload them. So, hopefully, all this helps you get what you need out of this. People charge thousands of dollars for custom indicators. I'm not joking. If you look it up on Google, you'll find out what I mean. 16 bucks is all it takes. Thank you all for watching. If you have questions, if you need help, go put them up over there in the custom indicator script section. Those guys are super smart. They'll try to get you fixed up. Remember to follow the steps one by one. You can handle this. It's not that big of a problem. Thank you all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all be good. Peace.